Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, if you click on this video, you obviously know what it's about. It's five DIYs to St. Patrick's Day. It's in the St. Patrick's Day spirit. We got some DIYs, candles, lights. And yeah, hopefully you learn something new to decorate or eat during St. Patrick's Day. And if you do, please make sure to subscribe. Please make sure to thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and let's just get on with the video. So what you will need for these mint chocolate chips cookies are one and a half cup of sugar, two eggs and one egg yolk, one cup of butter, one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, ten drops of peppermint. 10 drops of green tree coloring, 3 and 1 fourth cup of all purpose flour, 12 ounces of milk chocolate chips, and 1 teaspoon of peanut butter. Okay, so I'm just going to preheat the oven to 350. And I'm just going to spray the pan with some ham. And I'm just like mix all the wet ingredients for us and then I'll mix the dry ingredients. After adding all those ingredients, I'm just going to add like flour, baking powder, peanut butter in a separate bowl. And then add some salt and just mix it all together. And then you're just going to add this to a the wet mixture and combined. And then once you've done that, you're just going to add the chocolate chip cookies and mix that together. After you've mixed it, you're just going to put like Pretty big size, you can make them smaller if you want. And I ended up needing two pans. And then you're just gonna put that in the oven. The bigger the size, the more minutes. And the smaller, you can add less. I ended up putting more time than 10 minutes because I wanted it crispier, but they tasted really good. Highly recommend, but if you're on a diet, I don't recommend because they're like so good. The next thing here is a leprechaun hat. First thing you do is just take the popsicle sticks and glue them together. You're going to need six, I believe. Six or seven. Yeah, you're going to need seven. And then you're just going to paint this green. I like mix the dark green and like a light green to get this medium color. And then I just took some black instruction paper and gold and created this little belt here. And you can see blue or use regular glue. So blue is just much quicker. And I just glue it on. And I love how this turned out. It was amazing to put for my room. So what you're going to need for this pot of gold is one terracotta, one, uh, some black paint, and a brush. And then I just paint it on. It fairly dried pretty quickly. I'm sorry, I feel like the light change I have to dry is much later in the day. And then I added Mod Podge to the top so the bolts go over with stick. And 
I use like a shamrock sticker. You can take off line or you can just go on at the store. Some bolas. I'm sure you can find some other candy that's gold. But I love bolas. So that's how it turned out. Snap, tap, slap, but snap. Makes the world go round. Snap, crackle, pop, rice krispies. Look at these rice krispies. It just needs some marshmallows, some little chicken marshmallows, some green fruit dye. Melon and I got Irish butter because it tastes happy today, but I normally use that anyways. And then I have some rice krispies and a marinara. So just melt some butter and we'll just do that. You're gonna pour the marshmallows in there and also let this melt. And then you're just gonna add the vanilla and green food coloring. And once you've done that, just take it off the heat. And then you're gonna add the rice krispies. And I always said I would add lucky to make it more crispy and then I add the lucky chop marshmallows and then mix it together and then just put it on a pan and make sure to put it in the freezer if you want it to cool faster. And then I just cut it so it's hard. And these are like my favorite I've ever put in. Shamrock mason jars, you're just gonna need two small mason jars and a large one. I couldn't find two clear ones, so I got those. And then you just need some gold spray paint, some green paint, and some brushes. I just went ahead and spray painted this because it's gonna play outside, and then it should have dry for like two hours. And then for the shamrocks, you just need the green food coloring. And you just make like three dots. Okay. And you draw a lot line that, and that's how they turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, if you didn't, sorry. But if you did, please thumbs up, um, hit the subscribe button, and please make sure to watch out, watch out, watch my other videos. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, bye.